All right, hey collective, I'm back on here to come give you guys the general spread for today. Remember the spread that I'm pulling is timeless, it's also general, so I need for you guys to only accept the message if it's for you. If it's not, leave it for the next person. Also, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. If you haven't already, come join me so we can grow the energy over here for you guys, all right? So like I said, we're going to tap into this energy. We're also going to, I also ask that you guys please tap into your intuition and receive the message if it's for you, all right? So the first card I flew out for you guys is we have the good karma, okay? We have the healing. So a lot of you guys, you're definitely about to receive some form of good karma because for some of you guys, you did some form of healing. It's like you guys learned some form of lesson, okay? So for a lot of you guys, you were definitely going through some type of healing and was meant for you guys to learn some form of lesson. For a lot of you guys, it has something to do with you learning to love yourself, okay? So for a lot of you guys, you definitely learned a lesson around self-love, okay? Also something about you guys learning how to put up healthy boundaries with people. Okay, we have the balance restored card that flew out here, and look, we have the empath. Okay, so for a lot of you guys, this healing was definitely required for some of you guys, especially if you are an empath. I feel like you guys were overgiven in connections. Okay, for some of you guys, it's something about you guys. Um, the most high your ancestors had to have you learn some form of lesson around learning to love yourself because I feel like you could have been overgiven in connections. All right. And this only have to be love connection. This could be connections that you have in your life or like family, friends, lovers, whoever it is. Okay. And it's something about you guys were over pouring into connections and you're, you you were not receiving the same that you were giving out. Okay. So something about you guys learned the lesson around loving yourself first. Okay. And the song that's planned for you guys is what you know about love. Okay. So you definitely learned a huge lesson about for a lot of you guys what love really is and what it looked like okay by you doing this healing we have it's over okay so something's over with i feel like for a lot of you guys you have definitely reclaimed your power back because for a lot of you guys it's something about you guys have been giving your power away to people okay and it's nothing i want to tell some of you guys nothing wrong that you have done okay it's just that for a lot of you guys you're an empath okay you're an empath. You have a big heart, okay? And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you definitely could have had people who have been trying to mix you, misuse their power when it came to you, okay? All right? Just because these people knew that you had a big heart, okay? But something about you guys, you learned some form of lesson, like I said, around self-love, all right? Um, a lot of you guys are understanding what love really looks like, okay? Because you had, a lot of you guys, you took time to love yourself, okay? That comes first before you can even, for a lot of you guys, give out any type of love. You got to learn how to love yourself first. So I feel like a lot of you guys, you did that and you got some good karma coming in, okay? Look, we have the tables have turned, all right? We have the manifestation. So for a lot of you guys, the tables definitely have turned since you did this healing work, okay? We have the manifestation and look here. We have the manifest in love. So for a lot of you guys, I feel like you definitely are manifesting some type of love situation, okay? I feel like I want to tell some of you guys your match. Okay, so for a lot of you guys, the tables definitely have turned on the situation. I'm also hearing for a lot of you guys, there's something about you regaining your confidence. Definitely by doing this healing work. So a lot of you guys, you manifesting, okay, what you deserve. And if a lot of you guys, you're manifesting some type of love. We have the rises from the rebirth, I mean, ashes rebirth. So you definitely went through a transformation, all right, for a lot of you guys. I feel like you could have been in isolation. You could have, for a lot of you guys, could have went within and had to do some major healing, okay, all right, so you definitely went through some type of transformation, some form of rebirth, all right? We have the generational curse breaker. So you broke some form of generational curse, okay? By definitely, uh, for a lot of you guys, putting that love that you have been giving out, putting it into yourself, okay? Not accepting unrequited situations is what I want to tell some of you guys, okay? All right, it's something about you were not receiving equal give and take in connections, all right? And this connection can be anything, all right, but by you going within and doing this healing and learning how to love yourself, you broke some form of generational curse, okay? For a lot of you guys, you're about to receive some type of spiritual upgrade or you're receiving some form of spiritual upgrade because you did the work, okay? But look here, we have the disappointed. Somebody's mad though, okay? Someone's mad that you did this work, you did this healing, okay? And it's something about you calling back your power that this person's upset about. This could be a karmic ex for a lot of you guys, all right? So it's something about you releasing 
It's something about you releasing, releasing past issues, okay? A lot of you guys, you're not walking in your south node mentally. None of that. You're not in your south node energy. You're in your north node, so you're moving forward. Some of you guys have an ex right now that's upset about that. This person is disappointed that you have called back your power, all right, after you did this healing. We have the devil energy, okay? So this person could be in some form of devil energy because this person sees that you're on the right path. Okay. All right. But look here, we have the no weapon form shall prosper. Whatever this person is, whatever this energy that this person is in, um, because they're upset that you are moving forward, that weapon is never going to prosper at all. Okay. Um, we have the constant fear, always in fear. All right. So this is some, someone, whoever this uh, ex is for you guys, this person wants you to be in fear around change. A lot of you guys, you got a fresh start coming in. Okay. You did the work, so you got a fresh start. Some form of change is coming in. And this person, whoever this ex is, is in some form of devil energy. They want you to be in fear, okay? So they could be trying to project some type of energy, all right? We have the sage for cleansing. Make sure you guys are saging and make sure you guys are meditating in nature, all right? Whatever this person is trying to do, it's not going to work, okay? Like the card said, that weapon that this person is trying to form against you to stop you from moving forward, it's not going to work. You're protected. But a lot of you guys, this is a passed over mother that's protecting you, okay? Okay, so make sure you guys are meditating. All right, do your saging. All right, because like I said, for a lot of you guys, this ex is disappointed. All right, and they could be trying to stop you from moving forward or something that's starting. It's, it's a fresh start. All right, but whatever it is that they're doing, it's not going to work. Okay, so don't even worry about it. I feel like I'm going to tell some of you guys, continue doing your healing. Okay, um, because for a lot of you guys, you got a lot of good things coming in because you are learning the lessons. Okay, all right, so. Um, we didn't have but one clarifying card, okay, that flew out here. And it's good news ahead. So it is some type of good news coming in for you guys, okay? All right. That's the only clarifying card that flew out here. So we're going to pull you guys clarifying card. All right. Can you give me a clarifying? Oh, all right. It says finding the path, okay? So a lot of you guys, it says you are on the, the driver. And you are the driver and the navigator, okay? So it's something about you guys. You definitely are on the right path, whatever this is, okay? Um, just know you're on the right path. So whatever this manifestation is, all right? All right, it says limitation is power. It says, it says lean into your limitations, okay? I also want to tell you, tell some of you guys, don't limit yourself, okay? Also, something about you guys could be taking some type of leap of faith on something, okay? You got a fresh start happening, all right? It says, trust your gut feeling. It says, let your heart lead you to who you are, okay? All right. Let's see if we can get y'all one more, okay? Continue trusting your intuition also. It says accepting challenges. It says trust your inner resources, okay? All right? For a lot of you guys, what I'm picking up from that card is it, it was challenging for some of you guys to do this healing, but uh, for some of you guys, you did it, okay? It was a challenge for some of you guys. I feel like it's hard for some of y'all to, um, it was hard for y'all to practice self-love, all right? I feel like this is, for some of you guys, this could have been like the hardest healing that you ever had to do, okay? Showing your self-love, okay? Something about you guys, please continue trusting your intuition also, okay? Some of y'all might have some type of new, it says Donna Love. It says it says love is ri is rising on the horizon of your life, okay? This is why I said continue trusting your intuition because for some of you guys, you could be manifesting some type of connection or connections could be coming in, okay? Continue trusting your intuition, okay? All right? Because for a lot of you guys, love is coming in, okay? Continue trusting your intuition on new connections that's coming in. All right. Oof. All right. We have the gift of freedom. Okay. It says break away from your attachments. I feel like that's what you guys done have done. All right.
it's like since you did this, okay, this healing or for a lot of you guys, it, it definitely brought in some type of freedom, okay? And if not, this is what's coming in. This is the type of energy you're going to feel, okay? Now, this equal give and take can be anything. This could this could be anything. You showing self-love. This could be um, whether this is a person, place, or thing. It's something about you guys. You're, you're breaking away from things that are, for a lot of you guys, not equal give and take. Okay, that can be anything, and I feel like once you guys continue doing that, because I feel like some of you guys are going, you're going to feel free. Okay, all right, from anything that's weighing you down, and it's because you learn um, to love yourself. Okay, so you know what you deserve and what you don't deserve. Okay, all right. Let's see if we can get you one more. Look, we have moved forward. All right, it's a lot of you guys. You're moving forward. Okay. It's like you know your worth. Um, it's something about you guys are moving forward. And I feel like that's going to bring you in some type of freedom, okay? Once you release things that no longer serve you, okay? Because you know, like I said, it's about you knowing what you're worth, okay? Your worth, all right? The love that you have for yourself is going to allow some of you guys to move forward. And it's going to make, it's going to allow some of you guys to feel free from whatever it is that you're detaching from, okay? This can be anything. This can be a... Um, um, thought process this can be anything i feel like a lot of you guys you're no longer holding on to anything from the past okay at all all right if it does not serve you all right so we're gonna pull you guys clarifying card okay now this could be anything like i said it can be a business uh, i mean a job it can be um connections or whatever it is okay family. It could be anything that's, that's, you feel like a lot of you guys, it's not worth it. Okay. We have the spying and watching. Okay. So somebody could be spying and watching. I definitely feel like why this card came out, this could be this ex that's spying and watching. Okay. This person could be watching you. Okay. Somebody could be spying and watching, <laughs> but somebody's spying and watching. All right. But look here, it's, we have karma, balance, and justice, okay? So something's balancing out, okay? Something balancing out for you guys, all right? Like the card said, balance, restore. It's something about to be restored, okay? And I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's going to be connections that um, it's going to be equal give and take for you guys, okay? All right? For a lot of you guys, this could be a union that's coming in. All right? Because it did say manifest in love. So this could be like some type of union coming in. All right? Oof. A lot of you guys, this could be your masculine. So you could be a divine feminine um, that went through this. Uh, this could be your masculine. Okay? Look, y'all. Self-love. Look at these two cards that came out. We have remember awakening. We have self love and um, look creation intentions. It's like you guys went through this this rebirth, this awakening, and it's something about you guys remembering who you are, and that's because you practice some form of self love. Okay, all right. This is what's bringing in this this good change for you guys. Okay, this could be a union happening. All right, but it is some form of balance being restored here. Okay, it's balance being restored because you guys are remembering who you are. Okay, definitely, definitely remember who you are after doing some form of learning some form of lesson around self love. Okay, all right, a lot of you guys. So, you got some good karma in because you did the work. All right, um, so we're gonna pull, um, um we're gonna see, all right. So we're going to see what um, some zodiac signs I can relate here. Um, put the signs where they need to be at. Okay. We have air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Sagittarius that flew out here. Could be significant here. Woo. <laughs> we have Gemini. We have Pisces. All right. 
Let me get one more for y'all. I don't know why the sun card flew out here. <laughs> All right, so the sun or this, like I said, yeah, because I know why the sun card. This could be work, okay? Like I said, this could be anything, okay? This could be anything. It could be a job. All right. Something about a job not seeing your work. It's just like you guys are letting go of anything that's not seeing your work. So but for a lot of you guys, this could be a job. All right. We have fire sign, Aries Leo Sag. We have and then we have the sun card again. For a lot of you guys, this is definitely something to do with um maybe your uh something about a job for a lot of you guys. All right. We got 1313 up here. All right. Um Make sure you guys look up that um, angel number, all right? We have the number 10, 3, 12, 23, 9. That could be significant here, all right, um, for a lot of you guys. So just know that, like I said, it's something good coming in. I feel like you got a lot of good changes coming in because a lot of you guys, you learn to love yourself, okay, for a lot of you guys. Um, this could be a union. This could be anything, okay, um, for uh, some of you guys. All right, so let's see what else we can pull, you guys. Mm. Oh, we're gonna pull you, uh, pull you guys one more. We're gonna pull you an angel card here. Okay, oh. We have the elevation, and look here, we have freedom, okay? Um, it says, I free myself from fear and, and trust the universe. I direct my thoughts to the beauty inside and around me. I use my spiritual strengths and knowledge to create light, and I rise above all doubt, okay? It says freedom, so that's two freedom cards. Whatever this is, is definitely going to allow you to be free in some form or way. It says, I realize my wounds create doubt, resentment, and guilt, so I work, free, I work to free myself of darkness, okay? I cast off any negative thoughts, find peace in my heart, and discover the being of light within me, okay? So, for a lot of you guys, it's something about you guys. Definitely could have went through something. Some, for a lot of you guys, some form of um, trauma or hard relationship or something, all right? It's something about you guys also doing some healing around that, okay? It's bringing in some form of uh, change or good karma for you guys. You also heal something from the, um, I want to tell some of you guys, from your inner child. Okay? Well, whatever it is, just know you guys got something good coming in because you did the work. And it's something about you learning to love yourself. Okay? All right? So, that's what I have for you, Collective. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to my channel. I will speak with you guys in a minute. And I love y'all so much. Bye.